Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Some silver that was found is a thousand-year-old version of Bitcoin. Let's explore! This article comes to us from Bitcoin.com. It was made aware of it by several members of the community. But the headline is somewhat of a paradox when you think about it because silver in and of itself is untraceable. But let's take a look at the story and see how this Viking silver hoard found on the Isle of Man represents this analog version of Bitcoin. It's a thousand years old. Off the coast of the Irish Sea, humans have lived on the Isle of Man since before 6500 BC. The island has a robust history of Viking Age treasures. According to a recent announcement from Manx National Heritage, a heritage legacy located there, an amateur treasure hunter recently discovered a hoard of Viking silver on the island. A U.S.-based researcher and numismatist Dr. Kristen Bernholt Collins said the unearthed Viking silver hoard was similar to today's cryptocurrency and embodied a thousand-year-old comparison to Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin, if Satoshi Nakamoto really invented Bitcoin, but I digress. Before we get into this article, I want to encourage you to please uh, thumb up this video it's a digital transaction that occurs between the movement on your mouse and that button that gives me essentially a little bit of flair, so to speak, on the algorithm for YouTube. It certainly does help a lot and maybe share it as well. It would be most helpful. So this Viking hack silver hoard was a modern day equivalent to a cryptocurrency. How is this the case? An amateur treasure hunter recently searching for trinkets on the Isle of Man found this hoard of Viking silver, otherwise known as hack silver. <laughs> Go figure, because they say that Bitcoin is unhackable. Manx National Heritage disclosed that the stash of ancient money contained 87 silver coins, 13 pieces of silver arm rings, and a small fraction of other numismatic artifacts. The Viking stash was discovered in April, when Keith Giles was hovering around with a metal detector on private land. Giles' discovery was the third major treasure find on the Island of Man in less than six months. And Giles has managed to dig up at least four significant treasure finds in three years. Dr. Kristen Bernhort Collins, an independent researcher and numismatist uh, based in New Hampshire, explained that the silver includes Dublin minted pennies and long cross pennies which could be cut in half. And there you have it. There's an image of those. The Manx National Treasure announcements note that the Viking coins have a 90% silver content. The stash of coins discovered is referred to as a mixed hoard of Viking Age silver coins. So experts believe these mixed hoards of money stem from owners who plan to reclaim the stash of money at a later date. Bernholt Collins says the stash is, is used like a piggy bank and could be considered a thousand-year-old analog version of cryptocurrency. Um, the Northern Mixed Hoard is a fourth Viking Age coin hoard to be found on the Isle of Man in the last 50 years, Bernholt Collins said, and they have been added over time like a piggy bank accounting for some of the older coins, though for the most part it is a direct reflection of what was circulating in and around uh, the man in the late 1020s, or circa 1030. Uh, so it, just because they added to a stash, um, and it sounds like some of these had, you know, were looked, were, were associated with other countries, how does that make them like Bitcoin? I'm kind of confused about that. And if you can make them anonymous, or in other words, not tied to any currency, and you could always melt down other coins and make it anonymous in that regard. So I'm a little confused by that, but in addition to the array of coins, Bernhoid Collins said, both hoards contain a significant hack silver or bullion portion, which would have been weighed out and possibly tested for its quality in the course of transactions. 
This is generally expected in finds dating to the 9th and 10th centuries from Viking regions, but appears to be a special feature in the later Manx hordes too. This may be because bullion was especially convenient for international trade, since it was practical for any size transaction and was decentralized, a currency without borders or political affiliation. Well, one could say that just because you have those uh, bullion portions or whatever from the hacked silver, perhaps it's these pieces that are cut off in different weights. And that could be, but what about the coins? I'm sure that because they are silver, no matter whose face was stamped on it, they add some value and can certainly be remelted down. I would almost argue that unless there was some cultural reason why not to accept from different regions, which there very well could be, that all silver is pretty much um, like currency without borders. And the New Hampshire, United States-based numismatist further said, in this sense, it was a modern-day equivalent to a cryptocurrency. We might even say it was something like the original Bitcoin. It seems only logical, then, that it was so popular in a cosmopolitan trading hub like man, even several decades into the 11th century, when closely regulated minted silver was well on its way to becoming the norm across Northern Europe. Um, the Manx National Heritage Team believes the coins stem from around 1035 AD, and researchers believe the Viking silver was built up over a period of a few years, perhaps uh, representing a short-term savings account, according to the Isle of Man Heritage Agency. And the Viking silver will be showcased in the Viking Gallery at the Manx Museum. Well, again, perhaps, you know, those bullion versions or whatever, but that is part of what bullion is about. Bullion these days, silver bullion and gold bullion, is kind of recognized across boundaries uh, for what it is, for its value. So in a sense, maybe a better representation of this would be that this is like the, the uh, an ancient version of modern of bullion or of bullion. So what will happen to this stash? It'll be reviewed by the Treasure Valuation Committee at the British Museum in order to provide advice to the Heritage Agency on caring for the antiquities found. It is assumed that the latest treasure hoard of Viking silver derived from the time of the Hiber Norse king Sutric uh, Silkbeard. And this uh, little article here from Quora.com is a question answered. It was a uh, valuable metal. You uh, talking about why they cut these coins up, these hack silver. And essentially, it was a foundation. The practice was not restricted to the Vikings, continued to be used up until the 19th century. In North America, the Spanish coin of eight reals was called the pieces of eight. Many times it was cut in two, three, one half and two quarters, and four and eight pieces. These were used in monetary transactions as a corresponding fraction of the nominal value of the whole coin. The modern equivalent of the practice is the silver bar in different weights. We can see from these photos here. Here's another image of what some of the hack silver may have looked like from the Viking era. Fascinating story, indeed. I don't know that I necessarily get that connection or would make the connection to the cryptocurrency, but I guess decentralized would make it that aspect of it. But the thing, the it sounds like it was between large traders that occurred during the time, or trades that would occur during the time, not necessarily tied to individuals. The thing about Bitcoin that makes it so special is that anybody can have access to it and anybody can use it across borders. Um, it doesn't sound like this silver was utilized in that manner. Not everybody had access to that kind of silver at the time. Uh, but nonetheless, if they so wanted to, individuals could do what they had done. This is why you had reeded edges on coins, by the way. It's because people were famous since back in the Roman times of scraping off the edges of the coins and gathering up the silver and remelting it down. To me, in a sense, that was in a way that was a decentralized version of silver. And you cannot trace it back to any particular coin or to any uh, hoard of any silver. I thought that was quite interesting. But nonetheless, interesting comparison. Interesting article here. Pretty wild to see a uh, tr found treasure in any event. By the way, I have a playlist of found treasure videos that I've done. I've been doing more of them lately. Uh, so I hope you 
if you have the time to check out that playlist, some pretty interesting stories of found precious metal treasure. I hope you found this video interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.